Hello, people of the universe. Um. <laughs> so I am currently in band right now, but since I don't want, I don't like doing band. So I'm gonna be in the Bible, and you're gonna be in there playing in the back. So. Yeah. <sighs> Look how much I have read. Oh, Wait, except for this page. Wait, no, I've read that page. Look how much I read. Look at that. Look, look at that thickness. With three seats. Okay, um. <sighs> now we are on Leviticus. Leviticus. That's not how you say it. Um, the burnt offering. So, a recap basically, they would just talk about the tabernacle. Almost two chapters, but like the tabernacle, basically, how they make it the holy place and. Aaron and his sons, you know, being priests and, you know, different things like that. So, yeah. Um, the burnt offering. The Lord called to Moses and spoke to him from the sin of meeting. He said, speak to the Israelites and say to them, when any of your of you brings an offering to the Lord, bring as your offerings, offering an animal from the either, either the herd or the flock. If the offering, if, oh my goodness, what the freak? If the offering is a burnt offering from the herd, he is to offer a male with, without defect. He must, be, be, oh my goodness, why is it so hard? He must present, why can I not read today? It at the entrance to the tent of meeting so that it will be an acceptable to the Lord. It will be acceptable. He is to lay his hand on the head of the burnt offering, and it will be meant for him. He is to slaughter slaughter the young bull before the Lord and the Aaron's sons. The priests shall bring the blood and sprinkle it against, basically, wait, it, it against the altar on all sides at the entrance of the tent of meeting. So, you know, when I said Aaron, Aaron's sons and Aaron are, you know, different priests and it's very holy, da da da, stuff like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. See so, ya. Yeah. Basically, you're like, who the freak is Aaron? Basically, that's Moses' brother. Let me. <laughs> that's basically Moses' brother and. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. Um, I forgot. I gotta look at that. And basically, and basically, and basically, they became priests. And the Lord was like, "Y'all are now priests." And they're just like, "We're priests." And like, "Yeah, you're priests." Because remember, Aaron was only the one to speak the Egyptians' language, basically. Um, so that was like, yeah speak your language so he had to basically translate everything that he said so now he took the israelites you know out of egypt and da -da -da, you know what i mean okay so he is to he is to skin the burnt offering and cut it into pieces the sons of aaron the priests are to put are to put fire on the altar and arrange wood on the fire then Aaron's sons, the priests, shall arrange the pieces, including the head and the fat, of, on the burning wood that is on the altar. He is to wash the inner parts and the legs with water, and the priest is to burn all of, all of it on the altar. It is a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. Yes. Okay. And the offering... If the offering is a burnt offering from the flock, from either the sheep or the goats, he is to offer a male without defect. He is to slaughter it at the north slide of the altar before the Lord and Aaron's sons, the priests, shall sprinkle 
of blood against the altar on all sides. So you gotta sprinkle that blood. You know what I mean? He used to cut it into pieces in the pe in the what the priest and the priest shall arrange them, including the head and the fat on the burning wood that is on the altar. He is to wash the inner parts and the legs with water, and the priest is to bring all of it and burn it on the altar. Okay, so you just gotta burn everything. Burn offering, basically. It is a burnt offering, an offering made by fire and aroma, pleasing to the Lord. If the offering to the Lord is a burnt offering of birds, he is to offer a dove or a young pigeon. The priest shall bring it to the altar. Wait, wait. Oh yeah, ring of the head and bring it on the altar. Its blood shall be drained out on the side of the altar. Okay, he is to remove the crop with its contents and throw it to the east side of the altar, where the ashes are. Where the ashes are, he shall tear it upon by the wings, not severing it completely. And then the priest shall burn it on the wood that it is on the fire in, that is on that is on the fire on the altar. Okay. It is a burnt offering, an offering made by fire and roaming pleasing to the Lord. The grain offering. Alright, the grain offering. When someone brings an grain offering to the Lord, his offering is to be a fine flour. He is to pour oil on it, put incense on it, and take it to Aaron's sons. The priest, the priest, the priest, yeah, okay. The priest shall take a handful of the fine flour and oil together with all the incense and burn this as a memorial portion on the altar. Excuse me. An offering made by the fire, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. The rest of the grain offering belongs to Aaron and his sons. It is a most holy part of the offerings made to the Lord by fire. If you bring a grain offering baked in an oven, it is to cons consist of fine flour cakes made without yeast and mixed with oil, or wafers made without yeast and spread with oil. If your grain offering is prepared on a griddle, it is to be made of fine flour mixed with oil and without yeast. Crumble it and pour it on it and it is it is a a grain offering if your grain offering is cooked in a pan it is to be made of fine flour and oil bring the grain offering made of these things to the lord present it to the priest who shall take it to the altar he shall take out of the memorial portion from the grain offering and burn it on the altar as an offering made by fire an aroma pleasing to the lord the rest of the grain offering belongs to Aaron and his sons. It is a most holy part of the offerings made to the Lord by fire. Every grain offering you bring to the Lord must be made without yeast, for you are not to burn any yeast or honey in an offering made to the Lord by fire. You may bring them to the Lord as an offering of the fir first fruits, but they are not to be offered on the altar as a pleasing aroma. Season all your grain offerings with salt. Do not leave the salt of the covenant of your God out of your grain offerings and salt to all of your offerings. If you bring a grain offering of first fruits to the Lord over crushed heads of new grain roasted in the fire, put oil and incense, incense on it. It is a grain offering. The priest shall burn the memorial part, the memorial portion of the crushed grain and the oil together with all the incense as an offering made to the Lord by fire. The fellowship offering. If someone's offering is a fellowship offering and he offers an animal from the herd with their, whether male or female, he is to present before the Lord an animal without defect. He is to lay his hand on the head of the um, on the head of his offering and slaughter it at the entrance of the tent of meeting to the tent of meeting. Then Aaron's sons, the priest, shall sprinkle the blood against the altar on all sides. From the fellowship offering, he is to bring a sacrifice made to the Lord by fire. All the fat that covers their inner parts or is connected to them, both kidneys with the fat on them, near near the loins, and the covering of the liver, which will which he will remove with the kidneys. Then Aaron's sons, then Aaron's sons are to burn it on the altar on the top of the burnt offering that is on the burning wood as an offering made by fire and remember pleasing to the lord he is 
Wait, if he offers an animal from the flock as a fellowship offering to the Lord, he is to offer. Wait, what? Okay, he is to offer a male or female without defect. I didn't read that part. Um, I gotta read that part. Um, if he offers a lamb, he is to present it before the Lord. He is to lay his hand on the head. I just, I just read this, didn't I? I'm not sure. Yeah, I did. He is to lay his hand on the head of his offering and slaughter it in front of the center of meeting. Then in the sun shall sprinkle the blood. Okay. From the fellowship offering, he is to bring. Then in the sun shall sprinkle the blood against the outer on all sides. Okay. From the fellowship offering, he is to bring a sacrifice made to the Lord by fire. It's fat the entire. It's fat the entire fat tail cut off close to the backbone. All the fat that covers the inner parts is, or is connected to them. Both kidneys with the fat. I just read this, didn't I? Okay, I'm not sure. And the covering of the liver. Yeah, I, I didn't read that. I just reread it for no reason. Pretty much, Lenny. Which he will remove with the kidneys. The priest shall burn them on the altar as food and offering made to the Lord by fire. If his offering is a goat, he is to present it before the Lord. He is to lay his hand on its head and slaughter it. And slaughter it, not slaughtered. And slaughter it in front of the tent of me. Then Aaron's son shall sprinkle its blood on against the altar on all sides. From what he offers, he is to make the offering to the Lord by fire. All the fat that covers the inner parts, or is connected to them, both kidneys with the fat on them, near the loins, and the covering of the liver, which he will remove with the kidneys. The priest shall burn them on the altar as food, an offering made by fire, a pleasing aroma, all the fat that is the Lord's. This is a lasting audience for the generations to come. When Wherever you live, you must not eat any of the fat or any blood, which if you eat, eat or drink the blood, that's nasty. But, um, let's, I mean, whatever. <laughs> 